So this is a update video on the P0B3B um, Honda IMA BMS board faults uh, which uh, plague the CRZ uh, and maybe the Civics as well which have the um, these types of BMS boards as you can see here I've got a huge stack of uh, BMS boards these ones are good and these ones are bad. You can see I've only got one each spare of an A and a B because they seem to be the ones that fail the most and I've got a big pile of dead B boards and dead A boards. The others are not so, quite so bad, so I've got plenty of stocks of those. So anyway, what we've been looking at is I've been doing some testing on these boards using my CRZ on the bench setup and the HDS. So that's a lithium CRZ on this side of this board here and a nickel metal hydride one on this side. So today we've been using the lithium side uh, and we've got two battery modules here so that I can test the boards without having to put it all back into the car. Um, so we have a B and a D um, test module here. I think it's B and D, yeah, B and D. And this one is A and C because the boards are not wired the same. So you can't intermix um, A with B, etc, uh, etc. Et Otherwise they'll, they'll let out the magic smoke. So only B and D boards can connect to this connector and only A and C boards can connect to that connector. So we're looking at the voltage references on these boards um, with the, for the two LTC chips and uh, looking at them and measuring them some time ago I found that quite a few were out of spec or not working at all on one of the chips on the board and that was obviously clearly uh, looked like a fairly easy fault to, uh, to sort out. So I marked up several boards. Uh, now the surface mount device soldering that's required in these is far too small for my eyesight and shaky hands so I found a volunteer luckily black black cat on the uh, Honda Insight forum said he'd have a go at uh, putting in some new chips on these boards some of the suspect faulty ones so I sent him four boards and uh, what we have is we have uh, three repaired boards and one which is still faulty. Okay, so that's not a bad result. So I sent him four, replaced chips on all four boards, and we now have three good boards back and one that's still faulty. So I sent him a, a donor board uh, as well as some new chips. So this was a C, I've got loads of C boards. So you can see the two LTC, LTC chips have been removed from here. And I also ordered some from Farnell just so we could see if there was going to be any differences or what, which, how, which, it was easier to do one way or the other. Apparently it's easier to use the new chips because these are uh, the conformal coating on these is quite tough and they're actually stuck down quite well so it was a bit tricky. So anyway thanks to Black Cat for having a go at these. So now we have um, a good A and a good, uh, sorry, a good A and a good B. Uh, I'll tidy those up and uh, I'll be testing them on here and we've got another good B here and we've still got this one here which is still faulty. So I've looked at this carefully and the voltage references uh, for the two chips are these following voltages here, U1 and U2. Now that looks pretty close to me. I'd be very surprised if it was a sort of difference in uh, voltage which was causing a problem here. And if you note, um, the error code that we got initially, originally, was the same as um, the other error codes, which was a failed voltage reference. But now we get a different error code. Now I'm not familiar with that one. Um, now there are a couple of other A boards with that code so we'll have to see but basically the voltage references are now correct maybe it's a problem with the fact that the chip's been resoldered in and maybe there's a pin or two not connected properly maybe it needs reflowing i'm not sure so i'll maybe send that back to back cat with another batch of boards maybe reflow it and see if it, it fixes it um, i had a quick look at it i couldn't see anything obvious i did try and just attach one more pin which I thought maybe wasn't making contact uh, that appeared to be okay um, so I'm not really sure quite what's wrong with that one I'm just looking through my stock of boards here to see if I've got any others with that same fault yeah I've got another U uh, A board here with that same fault code as this one is now reporting and I've also got one with the other fault code so anyway that's where we are so we've got quite a good stock of boards now and they can be fixed um, depending on what the problem is uh, by swapping out the chips on this one here this one here has got a uh, bad voltage reference here so this chip can come out and be replaced with a new one and that should resurrect the board it's got the standard fault that they all have when there's a voltage reference issue so that's where we are um thanks to Backcat again for having to go at the surface mount uh, chip swaps and uh, we'll go from here <laughs>